G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, it's acrylic pouring day. I know a lot of you are happy to see an acrylic pour. Before we get started, I'm going to show you this. I'll come up behind here. I'll show you this one. That was that spin ring pour that I did. It's still dry now. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? Look at those effects we've got. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's very 3D. Sorry about the glare. But anyway, there's that one. And today, uh, I'm going to do another one big flip cup on this 25 by 30 centimeter, uh, 10 by 12 inch canvas. And I thought I'd go for some warm shades and just pop a turquoise in there and see how that looks. So we've got this one that is the Burnt Umber by Montmartre. And then the yellow I made myself, it's just yellow with a little bit of brown in it really and some white till I got the shade that I wanted. I call it Naples. I tried to match it as close to Naples yellow as I could. This one is just turquoise. This one I also made myself um, with the where is it you know the burnt sienna it's quite an orange color it's that one there burnt sienna um i actually don't really like it it's too kind of orange it's too orange for me i don't like it so i mix this one with this one and um a little bit of um of this yellow and that's what i did to get that and then of course there's some white so I'm going to put some oil in it to get um, cells. So we'll use the spot on treadmill silicone that I usually use. Silicone oil. And we will do three drops in each. So I've got 50 grams of pouring medium, which is my usual, my 60% glue and 40% water. And then I make, mix that one to one with the paint. The brown here, I had to add quite a bit of extra water to it. Um, because browns, well, for me anyway, browns tend to be quite, quite thick. But yeah, I start off at one to one rate with the pouring medium and the paint. And then you can add a few little drops of water as you go if you need it. Uh, till you get a nice consistency. Mound on a mound. I like to do, like, put some on the top there like that and hopefully it's gone by three seconds. Two to three. One, two, three. Oh, you can still see a tiny little bit of a ring there. Might have to put a little bit more water in that one. Give them a stir. So anyway, that's, that's about the consistency you want. Try and make them all about the same. I'll stir that oil in. Wipe the side of the stick in case there's any stuck on that stick. One, two, three, it's gone. One, two, three. Mix your oil in well so you don't get big blobs of it. One, two, three. That one's a little bit thinner than the other two. But they're very, it's very similar. Look, it's really hard to get them exact. But um, yeah, as long as you're getting that little mound on a mound, it's not a huge mound, it's just a little wriggle. This is the one I had to add a lot of white to. Uh, white, water to. Right, <clears throat> so we're going the dark brown and then the yellow. I think they'll make pretty cells. These two... I was debating whether or not to put them next to each other because we'll get some green. But then the only other thing is doing that. And then the yellow's got brown on each side. But then if I do this, I've got brown, white, brown. Hmm. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just do that. It won't matter. All right, here we go. I'm going to layer probably... I think I'll do three layers. Whoops. So we'll use a third 
for each little drizzle. Spread those out so I don't knock them. And then the turquoise. Hopefully the turquoise will actually, you know, stand out. I know I've got like two browns. So, but I did want a lot of brown. I'm just I'm just hoping it's not going to take over and we totally lose the um the turquoise. Anyway, we'll see. Right. Hopefully I've left enough there just for the last little layer. And I think I'm going to do a flip and lip. Flip it over and then kind of do a swirl with the lip of the cup just to give like a pretty pattern. A bit of interest to the pour rather than a flip and drag where you get straight lines. I'm just going to do the little flip and lip. I've got dogs looking at me through the window over there. Hello guys! <laughs> Actually, I might put a little bit of yellow over the top of that blue one, the turquoise, just to see what that looks like. So I've got about 500 grams of mixed paint. I do like to use a lot of paint, as you know, so I've got room to cover the whole surface. I'll put that on. And then I'll put the... Will I put the yellow? Hmm. <clears throat> yellow or white. Let's go with a little bit of yellow. There's not much left there. Hardly anything, really. They'll mix in the cup anyway, and they'll mix on the canvas. So I'm sure I'll get a little bit of green, which is fine. It's what I wanted. Because you've got to think about what your colours are going to do, you know, how they're going to mix and what colours they're going to make. So you have to be aware of that when you choose your colours. Okay, there we go. Actually, I've got a tiny little bit of brown left. Might as well, might as well use it. Get it all out. There we go. Rather I put it all on the canvas and have a little tiny bit left in the cup, hey, that I can't do anything with. Right, oh, that looks really pretty, those colours. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's flip this over. And because it's so full, I'm just going to do this. Put my hand there where the cup is and then just do that. Take my hand out and then there's no risk of it splashing everywhere and making a mess. Look at me, I'm a mess already. Oh, you know what I did this morning? I should go and show you, actually. I might, I might bring them out later. I made chocolate chip muffins. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> They're still warm. Because I wanted to make, you know, the big, high muffin top ones. So I tried a new recipe and changed it a few things. Like, like I did, I changed things. I added an extra egg white to make it sort of more light and fluffy. Turned the oven up really high to begin with for five minutes and then dropped it and I got this beautiful rise. I'll go and get them shortly when I'm done and I'll show you. Remind me. Remind me to go and show you if you're interested. Maybe I can do some cooking videos. What do you think? Anyone interested in cooking videos? Baking? All right, let's do this. So I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to kind of bring the lip of the cup back up and kind of flip through it. Flipping lip. Here we go. Woo! I flipped her right off, right off the canvas. Oh gosh. Wow, look at those colours. We've got some stripies there from the, the lip of the cup. That's so pretty in there. Have I got anything else? Oh no, I'll just leave it. I'm not used to using such small canvases. <laughs> you, you lip it and it's, it's done already. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch early before I go covering everything with my big boy heat blowtorch here. I'll turn it down. All right, here we go. You remember, not too close. Let that 
heat and travel down gently through the thick paint because it's pretty thick I've got a lot on there let that heat travel through it takes a little while for the oil to come up to the surface it's got a long way to go don't get too close with your torch otherwise you'll get those caterpillars and you'll get like a big colony of cells rather than just a, a little sprinkling oops there's a caterpillar I'm trying to torch gently oh, I'm loving these colors Browns and turquoises always look pretty together, don't they? And they really remind me of the coastal look of your beach, you know, your sand and your rocks and your ocean. All right, a little bit more just up here. I'm gonna be tilting quite a bit off. All right, let's leave it at that. Loving those yellow ones on the blue, the turquoise. So pretty. Probably going to lose those. All right, I've got my corner catcher. And because I've torched early, the cells are going to stretch while I um, tilt and, and cover the whole canvas. So they, they'll be bigger. Whereas if you want smaller cells, um, you cover the whole canvas and then torch. And then just do a little tilt that way they don't grow very big okay on this side off to the corner back again okay let's turn you around oh it's looking really pretty do you like the swirls or do you like the one I did the other day where it was just a cup? Just a flip cup with no flip and lip. Now, what am I going to hold on to? But nothing to hold on to. I shall hold on to this push pin in the corner here. I'm just going to walk the paint. I don't want to really lose that corner. I like that corner there. So I don't really want to lose it too much where it's got that little strip there it matches the, the curve there so I'm going to go to each corner and then I'll have a look at the composition and see if there's anything I want to get rid of hang on to this push pin here and go to that corner come back and then let go all right so now I've got the turquoise corner there which I want to keep so there's a lot of paint on there and let's see what will I want to get rid of and what do I want to keep hmm. I don't really want to get rid of any of it I really like it the way it is there is a bit of a I can't really can I point see that little caterpillar thingy there I don't know if I'd be able to get rid of two inches of paint because the rest of the cells would really stretch but let's have a look see if we can do it let's walk him down you tell me when he goes <laughs> and then I'll stop he's gone he's gone all right so you can see the cells are bigger now and uh, I haven't got as much paint left on the on the surface because if you leave too much on you know it's not going to dry properly it's going to crack so there we go and I love I love it I'm going to leave it just like that as I said I like that stripe there it matches the stripe through there um, yeah and the brown didn't really take over did it still got lots of turquoise I've got the yellow the white showing through I'm a mess <laughs> well I've got my gloves on I'll just run my finger under there like that catch any little drips Actually, this would have been really nice in a on a big canvas in a three flip and drag hey what do you think these colors mm. I might do that actually because this is really pretty I really like this one really pretty colors all right let me get you down for a close-up and then 
and then I'll go and get my cupcakes. Or are they muffins? What's the difference? Like seriously, what's the difference between a cupcake and a muffin? Is there any difference at all? I don't know. I don't know. Oops. Okay, here we go. There it is. That way. Look at these cells with the white around them. Aren't they pretty? So what do you think of the flip and lip? Breaking up that pattern a little bit. And it's not as symmetrical as when I do three flip and drags. You know how I do one, two, three, and then I drag them and I get those stripes. It's not as, you know, symmetrical as that because I've done that sort of flip and lip um, and just sort of done a curve, a sort of a curvy thing. The only thing, the only issue I have with um, lines, stripes in my pause now I'm going to show you the difference have a look at this section here of cells where there's just a nice blended background the cells are nicely shaped but then when you go over here and they're in in stripes they change and I don't know why that is just because they're in a stripe they tend to look different and they go into different shapes when they're in a stripe, which is really weird. See, and then you come back over here to this plain section here with no stripes. And the cells are gorgeous and nicely shaped. See the difference? Then you come over here into the lines. And they kind of, kind of chain shapes. I guess they're following the, the different pigmented or densities of the, the colours. So they are different shapes. But it's interesting how you get that difference. All right. Um, I'm going to go and get my cupcakes. Hang ten. Here they are. Look. Don't they look delicious? Shall we try one? Mm -mm. Here we go. This one's closest. Look at the size of it. Like it's really, really big. <laughs> There's my hand. Look, it takes up the whole thing. Should we try it? Let's open it up. I thought these gold foil little cupcake holders would be nice. It's still warm. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's kind of got, you know, that crispy top, which is nice. And then the, the soft inside. So, oh, let's hope, let's hope it's nice and moist and fluffy and aerated. Hey, let's. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, yum. Wish you guys could taste it. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right, I'm going to have a taste. Mm. I like the crispy edge here. Mm. Oh, mm, that is good. Yum. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make myself a coffee. Mm. And um, finish that. That is delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye for now.